I'm Mama Yoshiko. Welcome. For those who are not aware of the Fruits Basket 2019 reboot, sometimes when an anime comes out or when something gets really popular, freaking anime cafes happen. And during the announcements of the Fruits Basket reboot, they announced a collaboration cafe. I found the menu online and I used the little bit of Japanese I remembered from university. Yes, I'm still in college. But as you see, I'm in my kitchen. I'm sorry for the mess. Uh, I'm not gonna fucking clean it up. I translated the menu and I got the recipe right here and let's get into it. I have my freaking, how should I even cover this? I have my apron. Yes, I used to work at Joann's. I mean, if you haven't heard of- So for the Fruits Basket Collaboration Cafe, there are four total drinks. Toru Honda's drink, Yuki Soma's drink, Kyo Soma's drink, and Shigure Soma's drink. And a lot of these supplies can range either getting them from your local grocery store or visiting your local Japanese market. Or Amazon. Joann's, don't sue me. First, we will be starting with Toru Honda's drink. And the ingredients you need for Toru Honda's drink is strawberry syrup, karubisu, which is a low carbonated soft drink that they sell in Japan that you can get at your local Japanese market. And the last ingredient is strawberry pocky. And for Tori's drink, you use one cup of karubisu low carbonated soda, one half teaspoon of strawberry syrup, and then you mix it all together, and then one strawberry pocky to finish it off. And voila, you have Toru Honda's strawberry drink. I got these Torani strawberry syrups, I got it on Amazon for like 10 bucks, which is a freaking crime! Cause then I went to Food Max today, and I saw the vanilla for $3! This is highway robbery! <laughs> so you could either get this on Amazon, or maybe your local Food Max will have it. They didn't have the strawberry, so I, I still had to get this on Amazon. And next we will be preparing Yuki Soma's drink. The ingredients for his drink is black sesame sauce or nuri goma. And this stuff is freaking gnarly. It smells like seaweed, but like bad. But like, it doesn't taste like anything. For this ingredient, I definitely had to make a run to my local Japanese supermarket. I even had to call a couple just to make sure they had it, because one of them that was closer to me didn't have it. But then I was able to get it. Next ingredient is vanilla syrup. I use the Torani in vanilla. Next ingredient is cow milk, or for my freaking lactose gang, lactate milk, and a chocolate pocky to finish it off. And the recipe for Yuki's drink is one cup of milk, whether it's whole milk, cow milk, lactate milk, if any milk works, and then half or a full teaspoon of the black sesame sauce. It doesn't taste like anything. I'm positive that the only reason this ingredient is in the recipe is because it turns the milk gray, like Yuki. And two tablespoons of vanilla syrup. You whiff it, but then when you drink it, it's really sweet and it's really good. Despite the smell, this is actually a really good drink. It kind of reminds me of like milk tea, and then you get a nice chocolate pocket to finish it off. Next on our menu is Kyo Soma's drink. And the recipe for Kyo Soma's drink is cranberry syrup. I had a little bit of a hard time with this one just cause on Amazon they did not have cranberry syrup, but there are several ways to do that. You can blend frozen cranberries and then use granulated sugar and make syrup that way. Or what I found out I could do is use cranberry cocktail juice and then mix vanilla syrup in it as the base. And it will inject the cranberry flavoring into the syrup. So you have cranberry syrup. Next ingredient is CC lemon. And I didn't get the exact one image because my market didn't have it. However, the worker at the Japanese market brought me to this other brand, which is very similar. CC lemon is basically a very, very, <laughs> like freaking sour punch sour vitamin C lemon carbonated soda. If you are not the biggest fan of very lemony drinks, I suggest substituting it with Sprite or perhaps diluting it with water cause it's very, very lemony. I don't think it's that bad. But for my sister, she couldn't handle it. And the last ingredient is frozen mango. So I used a whole bottle of the small little CC lemon and then about two to three tablespoons of my created cranberry syrup. And the last drink on our list is Shigure Soma's drink. I noticed that Toru's drink is also in a mug, so I assume it's supposed to be a hot drink, but I think it's much better as a colder drink because it uses a low carbonated soda. But I think Shigure's is perfect for a nice hot drink. The recipe for Shigure Soma's drink is four tablespoons of apricot syrup. As I said, I couldn't find apricot syrup for this. I found another easy way to substitute the fruit syrup. If you're not able to find any like these, is to use canned fruit and mix the juice with vanilla syrup. It'll add the flavoring to the sweet base of the basic vanilla syrup therefore giving you any freaking fruit syrup you want. So four tablespoons of that, and I mixed that with six tablespoons of vanilla syrup, 
along with a cup of fresh hot green tea. When I first looked at the picture, I'm like, oh, that's hot chocolate. But then when I translated the kanji and all that, I'm like, oh no, it's green tea. And then a small little marshmallow to finish it off. Out of all of these, my favorite drink is Toru Honda's drink. It's the easiest to make, probably the easiest to get the ingredients, and it's it's freaking beautiful. Look at this pink! And I ain't mad about a cold strawberry drink. The Yuki Soma drink is an acquired drink, but it is a very delicious cold sweet milk drink. Kyo Soma's was probably the hardest drink. Freaking difficult like Kyo himself. Trying to figure out the cranberry syrup was kind of difficult for me. And the CC lemon soda is very, very lemony. It's literally just carbonated soda. I recommend just using Sprite if you do not want a very lemony drink. And Shiguri's, it is a nice, hot, fruity sweet tea. I think it would be great as an iced drink because fruity drinks are usually iced, but I actually found it really refreshing that it was hot and I actually really enjoyed it. And the little marshmallow on the top just Voila. So I'm gonna start doing this as a series. I've seen these type of collaborative cafes forever. There's a Diabolic Lovers Cafe, a freaking Boku no Hero Cafe, a Hypnosis Mike Cafe. So yeah, I hope you try out all of these drinks and if you enjoyed this video, let me know what anime cafe should I do next. There are so many amazing ones and I freaking, I freaking good buy a freaking $12 mixing thing because I'm a freaking bartender up in here and I didn't even get to use it because I was lazy. But um yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all try these drinks and I hope it all worked out for you. This was actually really fun and I'm probably actually gonna drink these drinks. I mean I already freaking spent ten dollars on this so I'm going to. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye!